Mr. Rivera says without a domestication policy, 80% of fish caught in the PNG exclusive economic zone is processed and sold in other countries in U.S. dollars. Chairman Rivera revealed that over 60% of RD's business is done in U.S. dollars because it processes the fish in PNG and sell to Europe and the U.S. market as premium canned tuna under their various brand names. Representing the first fishing company in Papua New Guinea, the chairman commended the Mar Peroso government for finally making the decision after 49 years to correct this and bring in a domestication policy where all fish caught in Papua New Guinea is processed locally. He said this will significantly increase PNG's earnings in U.S. dollars and contribute to minimizing the U.S. dollar crisis that PNG is struggling with and also result in the creation of 50,000 to 100,000 new jobs. Mr. Rivera stated that plans to develop the Pacific Marine Industrial Zone would not work unless the joint venture fishing company by the state and RD Group have fish to process. He said at the moment the fishing company is struggling to meet the customer demands internationally and even nationally. With the current business split as 40% domestic and 60% international, RD expressed that with their own fishing fleet under this joint venture or JV, will be able to increase the supply of fish. Under the proposed JV, RD is offering their 645 hectares of land in Vidar Medeng to be jointly owned by the state and RD under the JV company. Minister for Trade and Investment Richard Maru said this fishing JV is a new step for the government to chart into uncharted waters.